uh, you may wonder what is actually the difference and why are we doing both four and six piece models? Well, first of all, and uh, the most obvious of them is the travel friendliness of a six piece rod. The friendliness of a six piece rod and the way that you can actually pack it in a big roller bag or duffel bag is really a big advantage today when both costs and uh, and the risk of losing your gear is much, much higher if you have to place them in a separate container and ship them outside of your bag. Uh, very often I hear arguments uh, against six-piece rods because I think there is an old misconception about six-piece rods being pretty heavy because of all the extra ferrules, which actually in the six-piece rod is only two and because they also should have a tendency to sort of be slow, heavy and not as crisp and fast as four-piece rods. That probably was the case if you go back 15-20 years in time, but uh, the technology in ferrule manufacturing today and also in the new materials that we are using has really improved this uh, six-piece version of a rod very, very much. I must say, to be honest, today I think uh, several of my absolute favorite rods are six-piece rods and it's for no other reason than that I think that they perform just fantastic to me in the hand. And uh, I've sort of been giving it a lot of thought to what it is that sometimes makes a six-piece rod to me feel better in the hand than a four-piece rod does because I try to design the same rod length and the same line weight rod equal when I do a four piece and a six piece rod. And yet sometimes and quite often I find that there's something in the six piece rod that actually just gives that rod a slight edge over the four piece. I can't really put my thumb on it very much or my point finger and say this is the reason for it because I can put those rods on my wall curve when I design them, I load them up with weights, I look, I compare curves. They are extremely similar or dead similar, yet when I cast them there is a slight feeling of difference in them and very often to the better in the six-piece rods. Uh, the one theory that I've sort of come up with over years is that uh, if I go back to, let's say, early 2000s when we were creating uh, for instance, our range of lessee rods that in those days were state-of-the-art rods and uh, a rod that was very, very uh, sophisticated for its time. Uh, we did a three-piece range, which was very common in those days for double-handed rods. But those rods had something in especially the top third section, that means the tip section of the rod, because that part would be long and uninterrupted from any kind of ferrule. And the day we actually transformed those three-piece rods into four-piece rods, we were forced to put one ferrule in that tip, tip section and interrupt that kind of action that we had in those three-piece uh, tip sections before. And I remember we used to get uh, comments from guys that were very initiated and were very good and skilled, both anglers and casters, commenting on that, that they felt that there was a little bit of something missing uh, in the feel and in the delicacy of the tip sections in the four-piece rods compared to the three-piece. And I, I write it down to the fact that we actually stiffened a, a, a very critical section of that tip uh, by actually adding a ferrule to it. Now the interesting thing is that when we do a six-piece rod, actually the second ferrule of the tip section will be in exactly the same spot as where the first ferrule on the three-piece rod would have been. And I don't know if that plays a role and that the, actually that ferrule is being placed back in a position that actually suits the action of rods very well and that the first ferrule of the six-piece rod then comes in a position that doesn't really put so much negative effect on the whole bend and curve of the tip section does. But anyway, I get a feeling that I'm sort of more back to the feel of a three-piece rod in the six-piece rods than uh, I am when I'm using a four-piece rod. Personal feeling, but that's uh, a theory that's been sticking with me and that I, I, I just can't let go of it. 
With all this said, obviously four-piece rods are fantastic and if you are traveling by car and you are not really flying abroad for your fishing, you might have local rivers nearby and you don't feel that you need the extra ferrules in the rod, well by all means there is nothing that is uh, going to be any negative by getting the four-piece rod, of course. You have a few, few ferrules less to control and making sure that they are stuck well to the rod after several hours of fishing and a couple of ferrules less to align when you actually assemble the rod as well. But all in all, it's, uh, it's really good that we can offer both four and six piece rods because I think there are different preferences all over and uh, by doing both options I hope that we can actually fulfill the needs of most anglers out there.